Hello there again, it's Susanna, and if you've already seen my other my other couple of videos doing polyphonic style demonstrations, one of Silent Night, um, the other one just uh, explaining about um, overtones. Um, this one is to um, for those of you who may be interested in just learning the absolute basics of creating an overtone sound. Um, so are you ready? Okay, so before we start, I'll just do a quick demonstration of just holding the uh, fundamental note as you saw in my previous video and doing just a basic polyphonic scale and then I'll break it down for you, okay? Okay, so how on earth do I do that? <laughs> All right, so basically, it's not as hard as what you may think. Um, the easiest way I can describe it is as follows. So firstly, you take a deep breath, but try not to like take such a deep breath that then you can't control the sound that comes out. So don't go <gasps> like that, okay? So basically, just take a deep breath through your, you know, through your abdomen. Don't raise up your shoulders, so just relax. And um, the trick pretty much is to start just a few times by warming up by just doing the OM sound, as simple as that is. OM. So just do that a few times very, very slowly. OM. Now the first few times, if you've never done that before, you will probably notice that you'll get a, a funny sensation on the back of your nose. It's the, the resonance, it's the vibration of your sound going up behind your nose. That's normal. That's why I want you pretty much to get used to um, that feeling behind your nose because when you're first starting, uh, when you know I first started, that's how I tried to create my overtones was by using that nasal sound um, and then we can progress from there. So just do that a few more times. Again, take a slow deep breath and just take your time, don't scream. Um... Now after you've warmed up your voice a few times, the next thing to do is while you're doing the mmm sound, what you're going to do is you're going to go ny, the sound of ny, so it's ny, okay? Now, once you hit the sound of the ny while your mouth is closed and you're doing the m, you're going to then transfer that into saying you, but very, very slowly, okay? So it's um. Now you may not hear anything straight away, but if you practice this a few times and try and do it very controlled and very, very slowly, and if you're getting the sound starting from that nasal nasal place, and while you're doing the U, what that's doing is, is um, helping your tongue to be positioned in the correct place, because it's the tongue that is in your mouth in a certain way that controls the pitch of the overtone sounds. So it's you're not sticking your tongue out, you're not going because then you can't do anything. And you're not sticking your tongue right at the back of throat where you're suffocating. So while you're saying the word you very, very slowly, you'll notice that your tongue starts kind of like backwards and then it goes and it goes kind of slower and down. I hope that makes sense. So just try that a few more times. Um. Can you hear the do, 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 do? The more times that you practice that, the better because your voice has to get used to it, the vibration in your nose you need to get used to it, the muscles in your tongue need to get used to where to be held at any point, um, and then eventually you'll be able to just go 
Because you know exactly where to hold your tongue in your mouth to be able to, you know, hit the certain pitches of the overtones. Um, I hope all that made sense. Um, you probably won't get it straight away. I did not, but seriously, I practice every single day for at least an hour. And the best place for me to practice is while I'm driving. And I do do a lot of driving. And funny enough, I'm, I'm still really concentrating on the road. And it's kind of like the less you try to create the overturn sound, the better it is. It, it's funny how that works, but it's true. Especially while you're learning, keep it slow and steady and consistent and you'll get there. And just have fun with it. I do. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on overtone singing. And um, I hope to see some of your clips uh, posted on YouTube soon. Bye.